Learn to be kind to yourself, not to take on too many. Valentine's Day, I like to look feminine, a little bit sophisticated, and I definitely don't want to try too hard, especially if I'm going on a date. To start this look, I'm going to use the VS Eye Quad in Plenty. I'm going to take a little bit of the highlight and dust it onto my brow bone just to really open up my eyes. From there, I'm going to go to the base color, and this one I'm going to put all over my lid. I'm doing just a couple of layers, um, just because I really like how sparkly it is. From there, I'm going to go to the lid color, but I'm going to use this in my crease and underneath my eye. I like to apply the crease with my eye just half shut. It looks a little funny, but it really helps you to find the correct placement. And again, these are really subtle colors. It's perfect for a date or just like a night out with girlfriends. It doesn't look like you're trying too hard. I'm going to take the same color and go underneath my eye just to really make them pop. And this has a lot of pigment, so you want to just really use a little bit at a, at a time so that you don't get too much onto your skin. The last part of the eyeshadow is the crease. This is the darker color, and I'm actually going to use this as just a little bit of a smudgy eyeliner and kind of wing out my eye just to make them look a little bit sexier. I'm going to start by applying the darker color to the outer corner of my eye. And for the wing, I find that it's easier to do if your eyes open, just so you know like the correct placement. I'm also going to take this darker color underneath my eye on the outer corner. The next step is applying mascara, which is my favorite part. I love lashes. I kind of like to blink into the mascara wand. Since I have really long lashes, I sometimes get mascara onto my eyeshadow. So if you just blink into it, you kind of avoid that problem. The next step is blush, and this is called Starlet. There's two different colors here. You can mix them together to create a really natural looking, beautiful pink blush. Of course, when you're applying blush, you need to smile because it's important to get the color on the apples of your cheeks and not too low or too high. I even apply just a tiny bit to my nose and my chin just to kind of make myself look as healthy and fresh as possible. The last step of this look is the lips, and I'm using the Color Drench Lip Gloss in Devotion. What I like about this is that it's a more natural color, but it gives you some shine to your lip. What I love about using lip gloss instead of lipstick is it's moisturizing and it's a more natural pigment. The look is finished. I absolutely love it because it's perfect. I'll go lady I DIY, ladies no longer be tangled with pick hair wigs. The 3D what you see is what you GT wigs online good fortune design system, hairstyle designers online 24 slash 7 good fortune consultancy system, plus a vivid distant what you see is what you GET custom made system, plus a real time offering system for this accurate custom made system, first created by LadyIDIY.com. Real love is toxic, let us love and cherish.